Welcome to this court. This is the case of plaintiff Janie Wellman and defendant Charlene Medlin. Janie Wellman, you're suing Charlene Medlin, as I understand it, for $400 in unpaid sex toys. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. And Ms. Medlin, you're countersuing for $3,500 for emotional distress. Yes. Ms. Wellman, let's have you start. Thank you, Your Honor. My name is Janie. I'm known as Janie the Sex Lady. My business is selling high-end sex toys. Charlene is one of my best clients. She's been a client now for two years, and she's always at my parties. Those are, first of all, let me tell you something, Janie the Sex Lady. I'm the one that brings you your customers, okay? They're my friends, okay? And not only that, Your Honor, but it, that whole kit with the vibrating panties costs $400 a piece. Now, there were 10 of us there, and all of us bought that kit. So you can imagine the amount of money that she got that evening. Your Honor, this is not about friendship. This is about business. You're absolutely right. <laughs> I was selling these vibrating panties in a package, $400 package, right there. I believe it's on your table. And it includes um, lubricating gel. It includes a whip. It includes the vibrating panties. And it includes also nipple clip-ons. And about a week later, Charlene shows up at my house, absolutely berserk, and that's a lie. Janie, states that Janie, you really states need to that stop. she demands a refund oh. for these used panties and says that they malfunctioned, and that she got into a car crash because of an orgasm. How is that my responsibility if you're putting on vibrating panties and driving? And that is the question before the court: whose responsibility it is. Uh, defendant, please present your side and your evidence. Well, Your Honor, I, I was, first of all, I, was, I had a really nice evening planned for me and my girlfriend. And I had steak, I had mushrooms going on, and for the uh, dessert we were having strawberries, and I forgot to get the strawberries. So I had to run right down the street to get the strawberries. Now, mind you, I had the vibrating panties on, but I also had a pair of other panties underneath. So the vibrating panties were over that. I, to run out to the store, I just put on a pair, a pair of house shorts and I ran out and got into my truck. Now, next thing you know, I'm driving down the street and all of a sudden I get zap and I black out. <laughs> so I'm waking up in the ditch. There are lights spinning all around me. There are cops hovering over me, ambulance crew touching me, asking me different questions, and I'm slow to answer because I don't really know what has happened to me. And what but do you think did happen to you? I believe the, the vibrating panties turned on mm -hmm. by themselves. And so what are you asking this court to do? Uh, for the car damage, I have front damage and the fender replacement. Uh, I had a $500 insurance deductible. And... Um, and you feel humiliated because of this yes. headline that says yes. orgasm yes. causes car crash. And I would also like uh, $3,000 for emotional distress. Mm -hmm. uh, all right, thank you. Uh, plaintiff, uh, did you give any warnings before you sold these sex toys? Well, Your Honor, um, th these are vibrating panties. It's written clear that Yes, you know, it's not if supposed you, to turn on you, automatically, though. Well, you're, you know what? You cranked it up, but most likely what you did is you probably you cranked it up there. to five. But you cranked you it up there. to five. What do you have, surveillance pedal camera? To the metal, you got a camera in my truck? Put pedal to the metal and oh, whoop, please. like you did at all my parties. Yes, and, and by me acting that, that way, that's did. how you got your customers and they... Yes, all of your and products. all my customers were satisfied with the kit, and no, there were no complaints. No one returned anything from the They were the satisfied kit. with the kits, and they were satisfied. And they were absolutely satisfied. Very satisfied. Did you give any warnings about no refunds? Your Honor, uh, my policy is that I do accept refunds for any unused items, and my policy also is, and everyone knows my policy, that I do not accept any refunds unused items. I and might as well and you say that is your trash. policy, but did you ever tell your customers that that was and is yes. your policy? Yes. All right. Your Honor, she also canceled the check. I have evidence here that she canceled the $400 check, which is why I'm here today to reclaim that money because this is my livelihood. This is how I put food on the table. And and you also put pleasure on the table, is that yes. right? You do. I think this court is ready to rule. Judge Ms. Medlin, you presented 
zero evidence to the court that these vibrating panties caused you to crash. It could have been something in the road that caused your crash. It could have been that you fell asleep, that you fainted, that you had a, a heart attack. At the same time, this, the evidence presented in this court is that plaintiff has said there are going to be no refund of used sex toys. You used the vibrating panties, you wore them, and now you want your money back for a used sex toy. That is just not going to happen. So I am going to find in favor of the plaintiff and against the defendant, you are not going to get your money back, Ms. Medlin. Judge Allred has ruled in favor of the plaintiff. The defendant is ordered to pay $400. I'm a